Hello everybody and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today I wanted to go over the first skill of Edward, specifically the reduction of rage of Edward's troops by 300 after using a skill. That's the piece I want to focus on because guess what folks? We've got some of our community members that have done some testing for us and a huge shout out by the way to uh, Jetfire, Baby Shark, and Thor. Uh, for doing this testing for me and sending me the documentation so that I can make a video on it. Uh, huge shout out to them for doing the work because this guy didn't. Um, but I'm happy to report on it and show you guys what's going on. It's going to be huge. So as the skill reads, it says the massive damage, right? Huge, huge damage. That's what everybody glazes to right there off the bat. But it said it also gives 100% chance, well change, but it's supposed to be chance, to reduce rage of Edward's troops, so that should be your own troops if you're the one that's using Edward, by 300 after using a skill. So, the way it was explained to us after we contacted the developer customer service team was that what happens is when you cast a skill, after that second skill is cast by the second commander, any rage that's been generated is gone. Now, whether that's 50 rage or whether that's 200 rage or whether it's 300 somehow, right? It's just gone and you're starting from scratch. So that after that second skill for your second commander, you've got zero rage and you're building your rage through your normal talents and skills. So think skill path with rejuvenate or um, <laughs> rejuvenate. Yeah. With, um, you know, uh, raging fire with burning blood, those types of skills that generate rage in all the different trees. Okay, that's what we were told, that's what we believe, that's what we were gonna figure out. That's not the case, at least right now. Don't know if this is a bug, don't know if this is um, the way it's supposed to be and it was just explained to us wrong, don't know if it was that way, but they maybe messed up the description of the skill. We don't know yet. Um, that being said, I wanna point out exactly how this skill works because again, those three individuals that I just listed out before, they went, they did a rally with Edward primary and uh, YSG secondary, and they rallied a city and they combed through the, the, the reports and I do have the reports. I'm going to bring them up here in a second. And it shows exactly how that rage reduction works. And I think you're going to be really surprised with exactly how it works. So first off, I'm going to bring up the actual rally. So this is the rally. This was by Jetfire32. Again, most of you should hear, uh, recognize his name. He joins all of our live streams, and he's definitely a huge contributor to the channel. So again, thank you, Jetfire and team. Um, always doing some research, always doing some testing for us on uh, this channel, so it's very appreciated. Um, obviously a great report, by the way. <laughs> great report, by the way. I think this was probably the third or the fourth rally at this point, and the guy had nothing left. I think this was a city rally, if I, if I can you know, kind of pay attention to what the screen says, but um, Edward primary at level 50 and YSG secondary at level 60. Now I did hit the troop buffs as well. Edward is only 5331 uh, in this picture, which doesn't matter. Um, really the first skill is the only one that matters because that's what we're talking about. But just to give you some scope, um, that's what that's what he had. He, that's what he's working with. Level 50, 5331 Edward. All right. So this is, the, this is the actual battle report, the main battle report. Now comes the interesting part. So again, remember what I just said about the rage. If you look here, Edward of Woodstock casts Archer's Honor. That's the first skill. Enemy lost 300 rage. Enemy lost 106,000 roughly troops. That's his main nuke, which is awesome, by the way. That's really huge. Um, big difference, <laughs> right? Not only, and, and again, the other explanation for this may be that the battle reports bug. Maybe you did lose, as, as the Edward army, maybe you did lose the 300 rage, but the battle log is, mis, is misrepresented. Either way, this is all we've got to go off of, right? I mean, this is all we have to work with. So on this battle log for this rally, Edward of Woodstock casts his skill, Enemy immediately loses 300 rage. Enemy also lost all the troops because um, that's what the skill does. So that's what it is. And, and as, it, as it continues to go off every 12 or 13 turns, that's exactly what happens. So when we're talking about, uh, and we'll go back here to, um, let me pull all this stuff back down. So we'll, we'll go back here to 
the main skill here that I've got shown to you. You've got the massive nuke, and then instead of you getting completely bottomed out on rage like they said you're supposed to, you're actually taking a third of the opponent's rage away, which is pretty darn awesome. That's, ta that's making a 30% increase, just like this skill is, right? 1350, that's basically a 30% increase from all the other active skills with the exception of Genghis um, to cast. So you're, you're basically making all of the other one-on-one -on -one, uh, type of, of battles that you're doing with this commander, make them equivalent to having the same rage requirement that you do. Because if they've got 800 rage and they're about to cast their skill in 200 rage, and then you take away 300 rage right off the bat, then they're back down to 500. And then now they gotta generate 500. So that effectively turns it into a 1300 skill re rage requirement whenever they cast their skill. So if that's the way it's supposed to be, that immediately makes Edward much more viable. I think Edward by himself right now is, is really geared towards rallies, which is what you just saw. I think that, um, again, the, the extra rage requirement basically costs an extra two turns. Unless you get a nice proc on YSG and that rage regen procs up and it might, might save you one turn, usually it's about 10 turns or so for most 1,000 rage skills to fire off. For the primary skill to fire off, then the secondary one fires off right behind it. With this one, it takes about 12 to 13 turns. It depends on how the rage talents and skills and stuff proc and who you've partnered him with and that kind of thing. So with that being said, it, it costs an extra turn or two, which can set you behind. Now this is a higher skill damage, so it might be worth it. Even for open field, it might be worth it. But from a practicality standpoint, it's gonna be hard to keep this man up <laughs> because they're gonna see an Edward primary on the field and know that this is the most single target damage that any nuker in the game can provide. Even Frederick, um, what is it, 2400. Now it is faster with a thousand rage, so that's a thing, but they don't have all the extra stuff. They don't have all the skill damage bonus and the march speed and the health and the extra damage to infantry and extra attack to archers and all the, like they don't, Frederick needs all of his other skills to make that 2400 skill damage happen because he needs to be expertised. Um, and there's not a whole lot of extra things with Frederick besides the heal and uh, the extra troop capacity, which is nice. I mean, heck, Edward, primary, Frederick, secondary. How about that? That sounds like a good pairing. Anyway, so <laughs> this whole video, again, is to show you that this is a little different than what we had anticipated, had different than what we were told, and what we reported because that's what we were told. So I wanted to make sure we were very clear on at least right now, assuming this is not a bug or assuming this is not a, um, a problem with the character or a problem with the reporting of the battle log, that you are actually reducing the enemy's rage that you're fighting by 300 every single time Edward's primary fires off. That also opens up pairings that make a lot of sense to do even more rage reduction, right? Like, where's double C, right? Doesn't he have a rage reduction component? I feel like he does. Oh, rage res restoration, that's still pretty good. Who's got the rage reduction? Is it Boudica? Somebody's got a rage reduction, I know they do. There's a rage restoration too. Who's got the rage reduction? Rage restored. There is a rage reduction, I promise you. Increases the damage. For those, I know there's some rage reduction in here somewhere. Now there's a rage reduction for Genghis, but you would have to go full Cav. You could still go Edward primary Genghis. No, you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, that won't work. No, 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 no. Anyway, there are <laughs> there are definitely commanders in here that have uh, rage reduction on the opponent. I know they do. Now I gotta find it. There's res rage restoration as well. Who is it? Rage restoration. There it is, Herman. Herman, yeah, Herman's a great pair. So now you're talking 400 instead of 300. This stacks up very nicely with Herman, and Herman can be a second for sure. 
uh, to to Edward, and this might be your open field. Um, this might be your open field pairing that might make a lot of sense. YSG certainly is a great open field pairing too. Herman second to YSG or uh, to Edward might also be a really good rallying pair. I think some more testing needs to be done. That being said, there are so many ways that you can use Edward now, assuming that this is the way it's supposed to be. So that's why, again, I wanted to make this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed everybody. And again, huge shout out and credit to Jetfire, to Baby Shark, and to Thor for sending me and taking the time to do all this testing so that I can bring this to you, the masses, the favored masses. Um, and again, I do appreciate you all for joining and watching. Hope you'll have a good day. Cheers and take care. Have a good one.